Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are back again, finally rebuilding the streak, as I always tend to say at the start of my episodes, but we are just jumping back in and we are playing Tainted Apollyon and we are gonna go and do the beast as this fella. I think I wanna try and lock more hearts, so we need to make sure we get ourselves a um a key fragment, whatever you wanna call them. Cracked key. Cracked key? Yeah, cracked key. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. But, for the question of the day today, one that's simple that I'm surprised I've never asked before. What's your favourite season and why? I was watching a video recently that was kind of talking about it, and it's just kind of come to mind. I don't know, for me, it's kind of it's kind of a tricky one. Like, I I think summer is, is preferred, but honestly, the UK's weather's so fickle that it doesn't really matter. I, I have to say, winter's definitely one of my least favourite. I'm not a big fan of snow or anything like that. Um, I know some people love it, but for me, it's like, yeah, you get one day of it being pretty and kind of fun. And then after that, it just turns into thick, horrible sludge. Um, <laughs> unless it's like snowing constantly and it's like topping up the next layer. It's it's just terrible. It's just terrible. Do you know, a tan locust with a um, greatly decreased speed and 2.7, that's, that's really cool. Abyss Plus Plus has been updated by the looks of it. That's really cool. Okay, so we can actually see what different locusts are going to do for us now. This one's slow, blocks projectiles, does a lot more damage. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. But yeah, we're actually... that That's super, super useful. Like, I already love this mod a lot. But having it now so we can actually see if it's worth it with at least vanilla items. I don't know if modded items will be supported. Um, at least ones that have the wisps anyways. But that's really, really cool. That's a huge update. Uh, but yeah, like, winter's just, it, it doesn't snow enough to make it, like, nice. And honestly, I just, I'm not a big fan of the cold anyways. Um, this guy's eternal. I don't, don't know why my, my big fan one missed there. There you go. I'm, tr I'm literally just going to try and hit the, uh, not big fan, sorry. You know what I meant. I'm just going to try and hit the big boy one as much as I can. Because uh, it seems to be doing more damage than I can put out. So, okay, let's just take our time here. He seems to be, be bouncing in a very optimal way there. I think I'm going to take damage here, I'll be honest. No, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Honestly, the yeah, the, these, these locusts are very good. Very nice, very nice. I was a bit worried on that fight just because of our current HP. So this one, it won't give us... a. Uh, unique locust at all because it's not from a mod that supports it but good to know non nonetheless um and yeah really cool update but yeah summer's like summer's great i love summer because obviously I, I live in the uk we don't really get a lot of warm weather so any time of year that you do get it it's kind of a blessing uh, but at the same time it's so fickle like it's summer at the moment and we've had about two weeks three weeks maybe of warm weather and it's like come on it, it, it keeps raining and stuff. It's like, stop. <laughs> what are you doing? Secret room. There's actually kind of a few here, so. There's actually quite a few options here. I'm going to try the most obvious. There you go. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, well, it is what it is. We move on. But yeah, let's try and go to the beast. Leave a trinket when we get the uh, opportunity to as well. As long as it's not a trinket that I want to keep around but yeah i feel like it's just kind of one of those questions that's like it depends where you live and it also kind of depends what sort of person you are if you're very introverted i feel like maybe the colder months are kind of nicer just because you're not expected to go outside as much and that's that's another thing as well a little bit of a tangent here but i i do kind of find it a bit strange or at least uh it's, it's kind of a kind of a misconception about like introverted people Oh my god, this was bad. Those corn flies always get me. Um, I feel like it's like a, a slightly um, misconvened thing with, with people being introverts. I feel like when you tell someone you're an introvert, or when, when someone tells you they're an introvert, they're referring to them being like... Or, or like someone will assume like, oh, they don't like people, they just want to sit inside all day, they don't want to do anything. But I don't know, to me... Okay, this is not good. Um, to me, that's not what an introvert is. And that's not what an introvert has really ever been. Um, I feel like more so when you speak about in, being introverted, it's not that you... It's not that you, like, 
don't like talking to people or don't like going out. It's just that you prefer being alone. You prefer being inside. Um, and I feel like I fit into that category, but at the same time, I'm, uh, I, I, I really like meeting up with people and um, I like, I'm pretty decent at making new friends. A, a big part of my job is speaking to new people and speaking to people all the time. And I feel like people are like, oh, well, you can't be an introvert if, you, if you've got a job like that. You can't be introvert. But it's like, no, nah, that's not, I don't think you really know what introvert means. <laughs> it doesn't mean that you're a hermit. It just means that you prefer one to the other. Like, I, I really like, um... I really like the fact that with the job that I have now, I get to work from home. It's, it for one is just my preferred style of working, but also it allows me to do YouTube, uh, which I, I absolutely love. Um, it's, it gives me time to do this, which is yeah, super, super nice. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of one of those things that I feel like a lot of people kind of get wrong. And I know that this is a bit of a weird tangent from what I was talking about, but still. Um, but yeah, like, I guess maybe summer's kind of a more outgoing month. Oh, tier game. Hell yes, I love tier game. Um, it's kind of more of a, um, if you want to go out and do things. But I think still, at least in the UK, just having warm weather is nice. I know some of you that might already be in warm countries, maybe summer is a little too much for people. Um, and the heat is, uh... It's a bit crazy. Like, I, I work with multiple people in India. And obviously, India is, like, ridiculously hot. Um, and I was speaking to one of them recently. And, and I was like, oh, this was, like, last week. Cause it was quite warm last week. And I was like, oh, my God. It's so it's so hot right now. Um, and uh, he was like, oh, how, how hot is it? I'm like, oh, it's, like, 22 degrees. Uh, blue locust with increased speed and increased tick rate. Now, I think I'm just going to take that for myself. Um, and let's have a look in here. A red dripping locust with greatly increased tick rate and speed. That sounds really useful. We'll grab that. Thank you very much. And we'll head our way out of here. Um, yeah. Uh, and I was like, oh my god, it's 22 degrees. It's, it's so hot. Because one of the really annoying things about the UK, and it's something that, that's kind of become a stereotype, so to say, for the UK, actually, is that we, we like constantly just complain about the weather no matter what whether it's hot or cold we're always complaining about the weather but it's kind of because everyone wants it to be hot but because it's cold or rainy so much of the year when it actually is hot everyone's just can't handle the heat everyone's just like oh my god it's too hot <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of annoying really oh i was gonna say where are these electric tears coming from but tier game is uh doing some good stuff for us right now tier game whenever we get a kill we uh we get a new tier effect pretty cool pretty cool it can kind of screw you over because you can get explosive when you don't expect it and stuff but for the most part it's pretty useful um like there we got freezing okay take you out oh oh there was a eternal fly behind me i i got confused because obviously my flies kind of look like the eternal flies um yeah, so, like, people are just like, oh, my God, the UK, they always just complain about uh, about the heat or, like, the temperature. And it's like, yeah, but we love the warmth, but then it comes around and we just can't hack it. Um, but, yeah, I was like, oh, my God, it's 20 degrees. It's so hot. And he was like, yeah, that's cold for here. <laughs> he was like, it's, like, 56 degrees right now. I was like, oh, my God. And by the way, we're talking Celsius here. Not that stupid Fahrenheit bullshit. I, Fahrenheit annoys me. I realized that, like, is it? I don't even know how many countries use it. I know, obviously, I know America does, but I don't know where else uses it. I'm not actually 100% sure. Um, it's just me being ignorant. But um, it, it annoys me because it's like, I'm sorry, but under what, under, under whose fucking stupid guidance did someone think that freezing shouldn't be zero and boiling shouldn't be 100? How, how can someone dispute that that makes perfect sense? <laughs> I'm sorry, but at zero things freeze, at 100 they boil. Like, oh my god, that enemy vanished. Or did he just teleport? Nope, he vanished. Oh, no, no, he did just teleport. He teleported into a really inconvenient spot. But yeah, it's just like, God's sake. That's just the most logical way of putting it. And someone was like, nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, this this is the tier effect that's really annoying. Basically, it's like Akeldama. But, like, for your tears. It's it's really... I don't know what item gives that. Like, what item is producing that tear effect. But it's really annoying. Oh, you bastard. That kind of caught me off guard a little bit there. 
It's just tier games just so fun. It's just so many varying tier effects all the time. Gimpy. A black locust that has a very low chance to drop a blackout and killing enemy. Hell yes. Gimme, gimme. I wonder if it, it, it has to be the one to land the killing blow. I'm going to assume it does. Because it might be a little hard to get to kill things otherwise, but... I still think it's worth grabbing, and another locust to our pool is uh, is gonna be good. There we got a Roboros. Thank you very much. Put a bomb there and get whatever's in here. I, I would try and buy a soul heart, but we're not on great amount of keys right now. There is a key in this other room that I might have not picked up. I'm not sure. Or was it behind something? Ah, it, oh no, it's, it's only behind a poop. We can get that. We can get that. Oh, we got a card. Hello. That was rather useful. Um, we'll pop this out. A light green locust. Okay, that... Hmm, that's not a great locust. <coughs> but I'd kind of like to... I'd kind of like to use it. I'm going to go and clear this room before we do our boss in case we want to suck up anything in the boss room. But this makes uh, locust-only runs a lot more viable because you know what you're getting. You know what they're doing. You don't have to get... There's no There's no real guesswork involved. Um, like I said, unless they're uh, modded ones, because I assume they don't have EID descriptions. But yeah, really, really good update. Makes this character... Do you know what? That was stupid. I was like, I want the penny. I can make it in time. No, you can't. You fool. Also, visually one of the, one of the best characters. Ooh, we do have a room that we have some potential for here, especially with Abyss, maybe. Okay, let's have a little look-see. A white glowing locust with homing. Yes, please. Yes, that's so good. Okay, I did not know the Bible one was so useful. I, I, did, I did know that, like, um, the, it tends to take bad items and makes them better. Um, just in general with the, the Abyss++ plus plus mod. But this is, this is good. We also have a lot of, like, white locusts right now. I know these guys split into shots when they go down, so... Be aware. Need to get to a, a significant distance. Nice. That was really good. That was really, really good. I think shop is definitely more viable now. We should probably go check it out. Secret room. I'm not entirely sure on. There's a lot of places it could be. Like... Here, maybe? No. We still need to get restock at some point. That's cool, that's cool. Kind of annoying we got all those batteries on the other floors where we didn't need them. Two brown lo card locusts. Doesn't really do much for us, does it? Electric dice is good, but it doesn't really do anything for us. I'm just going to take the soul heart and bounce. Both items there were really good, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I do, it's kind of it's kind of an odd thing as well. I feel like one thing that is kind of unique about the UK, or I wouldn't say unique, but something that's interesting about the UK, is a lot of countries don't really get seasons as they're, as they're sort of displayed. Like, they don't get the one season's cold, one season's, like, all the trees are autumn, obviously. Uh, another season, all the flowers coming out. Another season's hot. They don't, like, a lot of places don't really get that as much. But the UK really does. Like, obviously we still have cold weather pretty much throughout the year no matter what. But it feels like a modified Dude, this, this homing locust is sick. He's all over the shop. Homing everywhere. Dude, that was some BS. Oh, we finally got a black heart. Oh, hell yes. I'll take Mr. Dolly. Oh, what a good Mr. Dolly. And I'll come and take you. Even though you're not very good... Um, you are light green, which I like the idea of. Still haven't found a trinket yet, unfortunately. But health is looking significantly better here, so I'm very happy about that. And I think so far we've picked up the right items. We've got very good fire rate uh, and a little bit of damage with a nice bit of HP on top of that. Not exactly sure where those coins came from. I'm guessing it was tier gain. Okay, annoying. But look, actually, it's not that annoying, because our locusts can go... Oh, God. Our locusts can go straight through that, so that's fine. Arrow walk. Arrow walk is really good. We'll hold on to that in case we uh, 
take it to the beast. I doubt we'll get it that far. Actually, we, we definitely won't get it that far because I need a crack key, don't I, sir? Crack that open. There you go. I, I like our assortment so far. I think we've assembled a good crew. But it's like Bloody Lust there, or Gusty Blood, whatever it was. Um, the, the Devil Deal item we took. I don't think I'd ever normally locust that. But I, I feel like this, uh, this is a really cool version of a locust. Having it fast and higher tick rate seems like a really good source of damage. And it's proving to be. Like, our damage output with these guys is pretty damn good right now. It's nice. A light blue locust. This one doesn't do anything, but it is a space item that I literally do not care for. We're getting kind of a rainbow deal going on right now, which I like. Yeah, so I can't remember who it was, but someone in my DMs on Discord was talking to me about... Um, they, they sent me the... It's, it's a mod that basically rebalances the devil pool and changes it, and they were kind of explaining why they were using it or why I should use it. And I, I just... I, I pretty much completely disagree. There's a reason I don't use that mod. I actually think the Devil Pool is pretty good as it is. There is a few duds in there, but like, I I think that Brother Bobby and Sister Maggie and stuff have a decent place within the Devil Deal Pool. There, there needs to be some some bad items, and like they're good for conjoined and stuff. So it's like I really don't think the uh, they are too bad at all to be in that pool. Um, but what are the ones that the um. I, I do you know what? I completely forgot where I was going with this point now. Oh, that was it. One of the ones that they said was that they thought Abyss was bad. Like, they were, like, only useful if you get bad items. And it's like, yeah, that's the heckin' point. <laughs> that's literally the entire point. It is only useful if you get bad items, but that's incredible. It turns an item. Holy shit, we got spin down. Um, It turns an item that would have otherwise been trashed. I mean, there's our trinkets. Um, I guess I'll take safety scissors for now. Oh, although, actually, actually, actually. Let's, I mean, grab spin down for now. Uh, crack that open as well. We got... Okay, so let's grab this for now. Go to our boss. I'll do my, do my other rooms first, because I kind of want to see my shop now that I've got the money for it. Wasn't expecting you either, but I shall accept. Thank you for killing that guy for me. I'm guessing you didn't like him much. Um, but. I think we can just go and leave this in the boss room. I mean, we could do it in the item room, but I prefer to leave it in the boss room, because otherwise I forget. I don't often visit the item room, but you're forced to visit the boss room, so. Works out a bit better. Also, spin down could end up being super good. Sometimes it's a bit of a dud. It's one of those items that can be really good, or sometimes it's not. Um... A brown card look has a very low chance of dropping. Uh, of... That's pretty good. Um, okay. Let's do that then. Damn, that's the locust for spin down is incredible. Uh, but we'll take this one instead. And away we go. Right, okay, 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 okay. Grab the charge. Go back over to the boss. We're going to have to do a bit of back and forward here, which is slightly annoying. But I do want safety scissors. So we go to our boss. We drop our trinket after completing the boss. We go back. We pick up safety scissors. And we're on, we're on our way. Oh. We got a great tier effect for this boss fight. Very nice. Pageant boy. Um, seven coin locusts with a t tiny amount of damage. Uh, we could spin down. Okay, let's, let, let's wait on that for now. Uh, five gray locust that deals 0.15 damage. Uh, a red glowing locust with two times damage and herming. And an orange void locust with a black glow that... Hmm. This is intriguing. That would spin down into Cuba Meat. That would spin down to Parasitoid. And that would spin down to the Scoop. Okay. I think we definitely want to just take this. This item's really good. Hmm. I'm really tempted to void this, but my health is not really that supportive of that idea. So I'm going to leave that for now. I'm just going to pick this up. I maybe should have span it down. In fact, I don't really think about that. I don't even know what it would have spanned down into. Um, I, I really should have considered that early, but it's gone now. The opportunity is gone. Uh, but yeah, 
I think Eye of the Occult is just, uh, not sorry, but Belial's Eye is just so good. The, the Wisp sounded really good. Two times damage and Herming. We've already established how good a Herming Locust actually is. I didn't fucking drop the trinket. I've got to go all the way back again. I've all, this is another thing, by the way. I've, I've also had people uh, tell me to use the good trip mod to avoid this, where you, you're going back and forward. But honestly, I think backtracking is a really major part of Isaac. There's things that are tied to time, um, like boss rush and hush, and it just generally is part of how you're meant to play the game. It was intended by the developers. There's reasons this game is not like Enter the Gungeon or other things that have teleporting available. Um, so, like, apart from obviously in cards, but I, I feel like this is the intended behavior of the game. As much as it can be tedious every now and again, I think it's, it's a good system. I quite like it. Uh, we'll head on down. But yeah, the, the interesting thing here with spin down, really, is that while spin down might not end up giving us the best items on a spin down, it might give us better locusts, which I really like the idea of. Uh, we might we might see an item that we don't really want. Ooh, this is nice. We might see an item that we don't really want, but also the locust doesn't really offer much to us. But we can actually set it up where instead we spin it down and it either becomes an item we want or if it's not an item we want, it might be a locust that's a little more valuable to us. So we've got a few different avenues here of this being actually really, really valuable. I don't know what's there uh, doing the, the stun shots. Ow. I really need to get some health. Not doing so hot in the health department right now. But yeah, now we've got real herming as well. Mini explosions. Keep our distance. So. This is the D8. Uh, a black dice locust with that. That's good damage. I think we abyss it. Yeah, we don't need to spin it down either. So I think we abyss it. We'll pop that and see what we get. Okay, great. Okay. Oh, I've got explosive shots again here. Gotta be careful when you get the mini explosions because they really don't do much damage either. There you go, I should open that up for myself. Check this out, I doubt it'll be something I want to utilize the rules all pickups. Why not? Why not? Did it even reroll pickups? Okay, we're on our path, we're doing well. We need to remember to get a full card on the next floor, not this floor. Yeah, what have we got? We, it's like we have Mum's Contact, but we don't. Is it just that we're getting Mum's Contact a lot from Tier Game? It just seems like we're getting it an awful, an awfully high amount. More tiers up, that's an incredibly large tiers up as well. I like that. Okay, Parasitoid doing its thing. Ow. Did I get hit by the explosive dude then? I'm not actually sure. Soul Heart drop. That was very necessary. Thank you, game. Thank you. But yeah, especially with where I live now, I think summer's become more relevant for me. More enjoyable. Uh, before, I wasn't... Like, I liked the warm weather, but it, I, I didn't have a particular reason to like summer other than it just being like a warm month but now i have much more of a reason to because um the city i live in just has so much more to do uh like in the town center and stuff when it's um when it's nice and warm i mean the classic british standard of going out day drinking is is always ooh hello um is always a fun one <laughs> when a devil deal doesn't appear um turns into an angel item for sale or devil deal <laughs> Yeah, why not? I mean, I know that uh, safety scissors here was. Oh my god. Oh, this is a this is a tough one now. I kind of think I want Dingleberry. I know that I just got that other thing, but Dingleberry is really fun. It's just one of those items that I all uh, trinkets that I always like taking. It can be really strong if you use like a holy day. We got a reverse. We got some really good stuff here. Got a reverse card. I'm just gonna pop it now because I'm not gonna use that on anything else. We got a hero font, which we really needed. And we got a K9 of Wrath. Every enemy in the room explodes. Giving us a temporary damage boost. We don't really need that right now. Let's keep going. 
everything attacks each other. I think I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like tier game also increases the odds for whatever tier effect you get. Because that, that um, rotten thingy then hit every single enemy in the room. Uh, black candle, uh, black flame, uh, it also inflicts fear. We could also spin it down. Um, I'm going to spin it down for this. Black Locust, it's the same thing. <laughs> it literally does the same thing, just with less damage. I'm just going to take that. That's really nice. Grab that. I'm going to buy a battery as well while we're here, just because we have the money. Um, I love that the, uh, the Locust is spectral. Helps out a lot. Yeah, let's, uh, let's move to this room first. Oh, hello, golden boy. How are you doing? Yeah, just so we can safely do this. More trinkets. Okay, boss time. Very annoying boss, unfortunately, here. But we should be able to kill him reasonably quickly. Yeah, we're killing very quick here. Black Locust with greatly increased speed and extra damage. We can spin it down to Lard. I think we just abyss that. Um, is there anything else we want to do on this floor? I don't think so. Right. Remember to get our full card on the next floor. Remember to get our full card. In fact, drop Error Walk here. Just so we don't forget it when we go to the next floor. I think I am going to save every walk for the beast by the looks of things, based on how far we've gotten with it so far. Oh god, we got a robber Ross. The one thing I hope is that we don't get a really, really bad tier effect when we get to, um, when we get to Blasphemy, uh, not Blasphemy, uh, Dogma. Because, um, on the beast, there's plenty of things to kill to switch our tier effect around, but on Dogma, there's, like, nothing. So, we're, oh, there's our, there's our full card. We're kind of stuck with whatever the game decides to give us. Um, but, but, uh, that's, I don't know what either of those are. I, no, I, that one's spider mod. I don't know what this one is. I'm unsure. There it is, look. That addition of that full card with the, uh, the, the tinted skull is such a good idea. Because, like, getting a teleport card before this floor is, like, pretty likely. Like, it's not something that's not going to happen. But it just it just means that you don't have to, like, basically fill up your card slot up until this floor. And it's, it, it means that if you get unlucky and don't get a teleport card, you're not just going to be shit out of luck. Nice money. I will pay into you to try and get a planetarium item here. And we got one. I'm just going to take this one because this one's pretty good. Basically, we charge up. And once it charges, we can do that. And it does massive damage. Look at all our little dips. I love the fact that Dingleberry can give you all the variety of dips. Go. Excuse me. Get out of my way, please. Oh, that's an annoying path. Don't, don't do that to me. Good, good. What the hell's that? Halo flies. Ah, That item is dookie. Oh, we got a secret room there because we had explosive shots for a brief moment, I think. Soul heart there as well as we left the room. Sadly, nothing there that I want. It's a bit of money, but I don't really care about it too much. Scratch card. They've been pretty good for us so far. Yep. Okay, just about done with this floor, to be honest. There you go. Yeah, the, the, the radial burst thing, they do, like, damage, like, multiple ticks of damage, so they're really good. I'll check this out real quick. We did get a bed. Just a hole to the next floor. Another soul heart there. Very nice. Let's get our full card ready. I keep talking about my error walk and I'm realizing I can't bring it because I need to bring my cracked key. 
Ooh, wait. Ooh, I just noticed. That's homing. Is that because of uh, Eye of Belial? I didn't expect that. Devil deal here. Damn it, no items. Okay, it's one item. Um, we don't know what it is. So... Six Skull Locust with ve very low chance to block any projectiles. I think that sounds really good. We'll just take that. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. And we'll, we'll stick with the health that we have right now. We'll full card out of here. Grab our error walk for now, at least. And to be on our way. We've got a shop and an item room that can help us out here. And may potentially spin down. Spin down hasn't really been that that influential here, though. But I, th I feel like it's just because we have Abyss. And Abyss has kind of been taking the cake. Especially with now being able to see what our locusts are going to do. I think this uh, this thing, the radial burst thing, is really good with both homing and piercing too. And we have both of those. So. It's, it's going to be a, a lot more significant and a lot more noticeable when we get around to bosses. Because it does a lot of damage, potentially. Like that look. <laughs> like that. Okay, both our shop and uh, item room in one easy to access place. Donkey's Jawbone. Doesn't do anything for us. Um, spins down to Ball of Tears. I'll wait on that. I'll come back to that on the next one. See what the other item is. We're just getting him to actually hit is a bit of a pain. Okay, nothing I can get from that. Right. We can just leave this floor now. I don't need to be here no more. A tan card locust with six times damage. I don't even know why that's a plausibility. <laughs> why is that even something you can do? I mean, it sounds pretty good, but you, like it. I don't. You, like you, what, don't want you just soft lock yourself if you do that. <laughs> like. I, I guess the only circumstances maybe in death certificate room you could do that. Well, that's the, that seems a bit loose. <laughs> okay, so make sure we go in here. Fortune cookie into... So okay, this is good, actually, because we can spin this down. And a black locust that, um, with increased hitbox and extra damage. Very good, very nice. Oh, we also, we also got three blue locusts here. I think it accidentally took the ball. I, th I don't think it took the right thing there. Either way. I'm surprised we had unique locusts for that. Uh, the ball of tears. Wasn't expecting it. Oh, you survived that, you little... Dude. I'm losing some dumb health here. Some really dumb health. We really need significantly more. Realistically, what I should have done is try to get rid of my red heart so the bed would heal me three soul hearts. Yeah. Don't need to pick up much here, apart from health. Good, good. We managed to gain a little bit more here. Very annoying room. Yep, very annoying room. I don't know, did that, did that take off a full soul heart or half? I think it took off a full one. Pretty brutal. Okay, we should be seeing our crack key now. There you go. Sorry, sorry, error walk. I love you dearly, but it was never to be. I think we got to do spawn. Oh, that hit me. God damn it. Do we got to do spawn 6.14? I can't remember the exact number. Not that I need any of this money for anything anyways, but I'll pick it up. I'll humor it. Some shot blocking going on here. Some sticky shots on you for some reason or another. What hit me then? Oh my god, my health is so bad. This, if, if either one of the bosses are eternal, I think we're dead. I genuinely think we might die. But we'll have achieved what I wanted to by unlocking a tainted heart, so it's not all bad.
knock you away. God damn, yeah, health is real low. You need to confess your sins and become saved. Let, Let his, his light, light inside, inside you cleanse your, cleanse your soul. soul. Yeah, I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Oh, Soul Heart, thank you. Oh my god, that's a lot of money and a golden penny. Not that I need it. I'm not going to even bother. It's just it's going to take too long. Oh, you bastard. That monstro did not jump where I thought it was going to jump. I get health and I immediately lose it. And I lose even more. Please don't let me lose even more. Do you know what? Bye, Felicia. Damn it! Wasn't even the right way. Dude, don't you dare. You, I'm trying to bomb out of the room. Leave me be. Oh my god, okay. We have royally forked this. I might die before I even get there. You have to be played, my sir. You have to be played. I can't see him. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty useful. Both of those are pretty damn useful. I'll say that. I'll play you as well. Why not? You might give me some good stuff. Uh, poison Bomb Locust. Yeah, why not? An extra Locust. That looks really cool. Don't you dare, little flies. Don't you dare. Okay. I'm a scurred boy. I'm a scurred ass boy. I don't know which way I'm meant to be going here. Thank God I went the right way. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> this isn't going to go so hot, I don't think. This isn't going to go so hot. Interesting to see a sewing machine in there. Right. Do this, and then... Oh, we do get this. Pale mini eyes have greatly increased tick rate speed and greatly decreased hitbox. We'll just take that. Uh, we could have spinned it down to something. And I think it's spawn 6.14. Did that do anything? That's supposed to have unlocked a tainted heart, but it didn't. I don't think. Maybe there isn't one for this character? Um... A yellow, purple, glowing locust. Extremely low chance to... Uh, okay, that doesn't really matter. We should just take the damage and be happy with it. Right. Hello. Was not expecting you. Baby, baby, baby. Right. This isn't going to go very well, I don't think. Oh, I told you don't be eternal, you shitbag. Also, guess what, guys? We got a terrible tier effect. Do you know that tier effect that I said if we get, we might die? Well, thank God I've got Herming, because, yeah, we got the terrible tier effect. It seems that not all of them are, ac are Ackle Darming, which is good. Only some of them are. Oh, God, that was a bad one. Should have dodged. Oh, God, that is a very, very hard attack to dodge. Doing okay on the TV so far. Oh my god, that attack. That attack is savage. I can never remember what second phase this guy does. We get a kill though, so new to your effects. I feel like he's going to fire tears as well, isn't he? Yep. You little shitbag. Damn you. Don't do the spinnies. I know you're I know you're revving up to do the spinnies. Okay, you're not this time around. Good.
I said don't do the spinnies. Spinnies are so hard to dodge. God damn, I'm like just living every time here. Oh my god. Holy damn. The beast might still be a problem here, but god diggity. We lived through that at least. We don't have a bad tier effect either, which is good. We should do significantly better on these guys damage wise. Especially when we pop that. I wasn't really popping that on, on him. Mainly because I forgot. Oh damn, you're going left a lot right now. Okay, there you go. We got him into next phase. That was a real good burst of damage there. And there you go. Yeah, I do think that this setup is allowing us to do a ton of damage. Oh my god, we froze everything. Apparently we've got Uranus. Oh, we have Uranus because we killed a bunch of things. Probably don't have it anymore. Yeah, that damage is nutty. Surrounded myself in poison. What in the shit? I don't know what the other ones that were there, but Soul of Apollyon seems useful. That was a lot of runes. Yeah, the damage on this is so good. Sadly, we don't have safety scissors anymore. That would have been pretty useful here to get some Giga Bombs. Shit, I was going to say, he was just about to do his really annoying attacks. So I'm glad we managed to stop that while it was uh, mid-progress. But yeah, this with, like, soy milk would be nuts. <laughs> so many tears to detonate. But it's already pretty good with the fire that we have right now. Also, our health is, like, significantly better. I always forget that it, like, evens out your HP whenever you uh, make it to this the beast fight. Oh, we got Parasitoid for this. And like I said, it triggers on every single hit. Oh, but we destroyed a scythe, so now it doesn't. We ain't got it anymore. That hit my holy mantle. Okay. Okay, you're just about dead. I think the beast is toasted here. Even if he's eternal. Black heart, black heart. Thank you. We've only got a few of those, but it's nice. I like the way my dips just immediately dive straight into the lava. He is eternal. But as I said, shouldn't matter. In fact, the eternal version of this guy... I don't know. Like, of all the eternal bosses, this one seems like they didn't really do much with him. Like, he's cool. he's got some interesting cool attacks, but like... Pretty much everything is the same. I imagine that's not really the developer's fault, though. I imagine there's some pretty hard limitations on what you can do with this guy, attack-wise. Um, I guess th there isn't really much else that you can add to him. But it is still a shame that he isn't, like, just a mega boss. I'd love it if all the eternal final bosses were just insane. Like, not insanely difficult, but, like, they were way different or really crazy, whatever. He definitely did this twice, which he doesn't normally do, so that's different. But, like, everything, like apart from that, everything else is exactly the same. This last phase, this is a bit different. He fires out these fires here. We should drop some bombs as well here. I always forget the bombs absolutely annihilate this guy. There you go. Nice little victory there. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. Fun little run indeed. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.